welcome to institute of quality and reliability hi this is heman the exponential distribution do not forget this memoryless distribution we recommend viewers to watch our previous video on hazard rate before watching this video for better viewing experience consider that a bulk manufacturer claims that mean time to failure or mttf of a particular type of bulb is 15000 hours with constant failure rate if mttf is 15000 is every bulb going to illuminate well for 15000 hours that's an interesting question the constant failure or hazard rate lambda will be reciprocal of 15000 or 0.000066 per hour let us see what is the practical significance of these numbers when the failure rate or hazard rate lambda is constant probability of failure and reliability can be estimated using exponential distribution for exponential distribution mean time to failure mttf is given by theta which is equal to reciprocal of lambda or 1 upon lambda the reliability function is given by e to the power minus lambda t and this denotes reliability at time t it can also be written as e to the power minus t upon theta as theta is reciprocal of lambda the probability density function is given by f of t equal to lambda e to the power minus lambda t you can also write it as 1 upon theta e to the power minus t upon theta exponential distribution is applicable during the useful life period as represented on a bottom curve or product life cycle we will assume that a bulb manufacturer gives a warranty of 1 year and we will also assume that a building has got 300 such bulbs and each bulb is used every day for about 2.7 hours how many of these are expected to fail in one year usage per year is 2.7 into 365 that is equal to 985.5 hours so we will use the exponential distribution reliability function now so reliability of bulb at 985.5 hours will be e to the power minus lambda t that is equal to e to the power minus t by theta and that is equal to e to the power minus 985.5 upon 15000 that gives us a reliability of 0.936 it is easy and convenient to perform calculations on excel mtt of theta is equal to 15000 failure rate lambda is reciprocal of 15000 so it's equal to 1 upon 15000 usage per day is 2.7 hours per day usage per year will be 365 into 2.7 and reliability for one year will be exponential of minus 985.5 select the cell and divided by 15000 that is mttf and double bracket complete that is 0.936 probability of failure capital f of t would be 1 minus reliability that is 0.064 total number of bulbs is 300 therefore expected number of bulbs to fail in a year would be equal to 300 into probability of failure 0.064 that is about 19 we can also use an applet from university of iowa where you have to put the lambda value as 0.0006666 and x you have to put uh, whatever time you want and that is 985.5 and if you put probability of x greater than x then you will get a reliability value if i choose the x less than x choice 
then I get 0 0.0635 as the probability of failure. Below the graph, you can see that the mean or expected value is 15,001.5. The slight difference in 15,000 versus this value is because we could not choose a very large number of decimals in lambda. Note that the standard deviation also is 15,000 and therefore we can say that standard deviation of exponential distribution equals its mean. This means 93.6% bulb will survive and 6.4% will fail during warranty. Consider that a building has 300 such bulbs. We can expect 0 0.064 which is probability of failure into the number of bulbs 300 or about 19 bulbs to fail. Manufacturer will have to replace these 19 free of cost under warranty. Note that this is an expected number and may not be true for every building that has exactly 300 bulbs. Actual number of bulbs failing in a particular building with 300 bulbs may not exactly be 19 and will vary randomly with a mean of 19. Probability of a particular number of bulbs failing can be calculated or estimated using Poisson distribution with mean of 19. For more information about Poisson distribution, see our video on Poisson distribution and link to this is mentioned in the description of this video. What exactly happens at mean time to failure? Something interesting about exponential distribution. Reliability at time t equals e to the power minus t upon theta. And therefore, at time equal to theta, reliability at time t will be equal to e to the power minus theta upon theta or e to the power minus 1, which can be easily calculated as 0.3678. So what exactly is going to be the reliability at time is equal to mttf? Let us see that. I have made some minor changes in the table that I had created in Excel earlier. So now MTTF theta equals 15,000. Failure rate we have already calculated. Time T I put equal to 15,000. Now reliability at time T will be equal to exponential of minus time T divided by theta which will be of course 1. So, because it is theta by theta, 0.368. So, the reliability at time t equal to mttf equals 0.368. Therefore, obviously, the probability of failure will be equal to 1 minus 0.368 or 63.2. So, in simple words, probability of failure at time t equal to theta is 0.632. So in simple words, we can say that 63.2% items are expected to fail by time is equal to MTTF. Note that it is not 50%, it is 63.2%. So suppose a building has got 300 bulbs. In time is equal to MTTF, we can expect 190 to fail by that time. This is the practical meaning of time is equal to MTTF. Now let us look at the memory less property of exponential distribution. Consider that a component has exponential failure distribution. It survived till time t. What will be its reliability for further time interval of x? This is conditional probability of survival till time x given that it has survived till time t and therefore reliability during time interval x given that it has survived till time t will be given by e to the power minus lambda t plus x divided by e to the power minus lambda t and that again equals e to the power minus lambda x. Thus reliability at time x given that it has survived till time t is same as reliability at time x from the start of mission. Therefore, exponential distribution is sometimes called memoryless as what happened in the past does not affect reliability in further mission.
This is very interesting property of exponential distribution. Do not forget this, although it is called memoryless. I have created a table of total bulbs equal to 300, mean time to failure 15,000 and lambda reciprocal of 15,000. And 1 to 20 years table I have made. Every year you got 985.5 hours. So total time from start for the first year will be 985.5. For the second year it will be 985.5 plus the same numbers. And I copy this. So this is the total time from start. The f of t will be given by lambda e to the power minus lambda t. So lambda I select dollar d dollar 3 and star exponential of again minus lambda t minus dollar d dollar 3 I type in into time is d6 should be and reliability at time I should say t not x so reliability of time t and so I have calculated the total time from start here and f of t for the first uh, I can also calculate for the remaining rows. The reliability will be equal to exponential of minus dollar d dollar 3 that is your lambda star total time from start is this much and I can copy that so reliability drops down f of t will be 1 minus reliability I can copy that also the expected failures at the end of year t will be equal to for the first year I can calculate this into 300 but what survived at the end of first year would be 300 minus this number for the second year I can say that okay it is equal to 300 again star probability of failure up to second year so obviously every year you will have more and more failures. And expected bulbs surviving at the end of each year would be something like this. Now if you plot the time t versus f of t, r of t and f of t, you could get the three functions. So I'll just say equal to the blue colored graph is of probability density function PDF but it is too small so you can't see the pattern here. The orange color line shows the reliability function while the gray color line shows the cumulative failure function. Obviously the two functions are complementary and would always total up to one. If you just want to see the f of t actually you need a little finer scale so you need to select only these two. And then you can see clearly what's happening over there. And you can see that it drops down over a period of time. So these are the three functions that you can see. Let us also plot the hazard function now. The hazard function I will add a column. And I will just call it uh, lambda t just lambda the hazard function equals f of t upon r of t so f of t divided by r of t now let us see whether we get a constant hazard function if I plot this with time I press the control button and then select the hazard function that is lambda obviously it is constant so you'll get a straight line anyway but you can see how this works and insert as expected for exponential distribution the hazard rate is constant at 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 5 and therefore we see a horizontal straight line at this level thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching
please subscribe to institute of quality and reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering six sigma and statistical quality control click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos